Fonts. Let's talk some more about fonts. Most designers will use a number of different fonts when they are designing a website, but will also reuse the same font using different weights, widths, or slants. On the web, that usually means downloading an additional font file per configuration. And that can add up to a few hundred kilobytes quite quickly. And this is where variable fonts come into play. With variable fonts, you can change certain settings of a font without having to load a new font file. So for example, using the Gingham font, I can change both the weight and the width of the font using the font variation settings attribute. Some settings, such as width and weight, have standardized abbreviations that I'm using here, but fonts can expose an arbitrary number of settings for you to change. While it should be used with care, you can even animate these settings to transition between different font layouts. Keep in mind, though, that this will cause the browser to re-layout and repaint, which will become quite expensive really, really quickly. Bye. I've been continuing CMS analysis, and a new graph just came in. If you prefer the yellow line, you should be subscribing to this channel. If you prefer the green line, you should be watching the latest supercharged video. But really, these lines mean nothing. You should just be doing both.